Thank you for tuning in to Sono Stuff. We have another Sono of the Week. Patient came in with left upper quadrant pain. The team ultrasounded the patient and found this large fluid collection that seemed to be encapsulated in the spleen. So when you find this, what could it be and what are you going to do about it? So the thing to know about splenic cysts or splenic fluid collections are they can be primary or secondary. The primary ones are usually congenital epidermoid splenic cysts. It's usually a genetic defect that occurs early in development. The secondary ones are the ones that we're typically worried about in our acute care settings or emergency departments. Secondary cysts either can be post-traumatic when the splenic infarcts due to trauma and necrosis. They can be pyogenic, i.e. abscesses. They can be pseudocysts that are usually an extension from pancreatic pseudocysts into the spleen when they invade the capsule of the spleen. Also think about malignancy or metastasis to the spleen. And then lastly, think about hydatid cysts. These are from aconococcus or tapeworm infections. If it helps, there is a mnemonic here, TEAM, T for trauma, E for aconococcal, A for abscess, and M for metastasis. For management, if this is a very small, simple cyst, one that has a very thin wall, that looks very round in nature and has simple fluid inside of it, and you don't suspect an abscess or a conococcus, the management is just watch the patient, send them home, let them follow the primary care physician, maybe repeat an ultrasound at some interval, but really there's nothing to do. If you suspect abscess or a conococcus, you should send additional labs, serology testing, may need to have interventional radiology drain these cysts, or maybe surgery. If the cyst is large, think of it like a AAA, more than five centimeters, or the patient is symptomatic, you wanna refer those patients to surgery, but usually this is not an emergent issue. Of note, aconococcal infections often involve the liver as well. The cysts will often develop septations and adhesions and look quite complex. These are very common in countries that are under-resourced and have poor sanitation systems. So keep a high index suspicion if people have traveled to these regions or are coming from those regions.